Hi, I wrote an article about how good data integrates with dbt a few months ago and in today's video I would like to show you how it works. It is basically one data pipeline. At the one end uh, of the extract phase we have data sources that are in our case github repositories. At the opposite side uh, is the analytics phase or let's say good data integration. Uh, in the middle is dbt, which we used for data transformation because data from GitHub comes in JSON format, which is unsightable for analytics. Also, in dbt, we have defined some basic metrics we will transform into good data metrics. Okay, I have shown you a basic overview of the data pipeline. Let me show you how, how to run it locally. It will uh, run uh, in Docker and you can run it uh, as well in Docker. It means that you don't have to register anywhere. You can just run a few commands and experiment with everything on your laptop. Uh, so let's start with uh, good data, uh, which you can easily deploy as a Docker container on your local machine by writing command docker compose up good data uh, cnce. Uh, I already did it, as you can see on the left side of my terminal. I can just show you briefly uh, my running good data instance on localhost 3000. Uh, so, before we continue, uh, I want to mention two things. Uh, first, you don't need to run uh, the good data in Docker if you don't want to, but you can also use uh, a hosted version. Uh, all, all you have to do is to register on gooddata.com slash trial and access your 30 day uh, trial account. Uh, second thing is that uh, before I start recording, uh, I set up all environment variab variables and install all Python packages. It would take some time and I believe that it is not a key part of this video. But if you want to run the data pipeline on your own, please check the article or a GitLab repository. I will put links to the description of the video. Okay, now let's uh, let's uh, run the first phase of the data pipeline, which is extract and load. So I will again open my terminal and we'll execute the first python script uh, let me just move to the right folder extract and load and run extract python script okay uh, data was extracted successfully, so let's load it uh, into the uh, database. So I will execute this command load Python. Um, and yes, it seems that everything is correct, uh, but data uh, is loaded into the database basically in JSON format, and that's not appropriate for, for the analytics. Therefore, we have the dbt transformation I uh, I was talking about earlier. Uh, so let's let's show uh, how the dbt transformation in other words a model looks like. Uh, let me open VS Code, and here I have pull request SQL file. Uh, you can see that I reference here pull request extract JSON SQL file. Uh, and this is a great feature of, of dbt that you don't have to write uh, one long SQL file, uh, but you can reference other SQL files. Uh, in the pull request extra JSON SQL, you can you can see how to how to extract data from from JSON in in SQL. Uh, the last thing about dbt I want to mention is. Uh, pull request uh, schema, model of pull request schema. Uh, the, the, the next phase of, the, of this data pipeline I'm talking about is, is analytics. So uh, it will transform the dbt metrics, which are defined uh, 
here uh, into a good data metric. Uh, it is a good feature because because you you can define simple metrics in DBT and in good data you can create more robust metrics based on uh, these simple metrics from DBT. We will check an example with count merged for request uh, metric later it is this one so now let's proceed with with transfer transformation so i will run this first command uh, in my terminal and it will basically install all all uh, dbt dependencies that we need to successfully run the whole transformation and the next command uh, uh, that i need to run is uh, dbt run which runs this sql file uh, i have shown you so i will run it uh, you can see that i also added uh, some arguments and these arguments are for uh, for like to tell the dbt where configuration file lives okay uh, it seems that uh, it, it passed so it's good and the last thing i need to do is run dbt test which test if uh, our model uh, models are correct and it seems that uh, they are so good uh, perfect uh, we can move on because the transformation is done so we can move to the last phase which is analytics so uh, we can run the first command of this analytics phase which is dbt good data deploy models cool uh, this command takes our dbt models and transforms them into good data logical model simply called ldm uh, i will show it to you in in good data ui i will refresh the page you can see that i already have here a workspace development so i will open it uh, and move to the top uh, data uh, and here i want to mention what is ldm and almost everything you do in good data i mean metrics uh, visualization dashboards uh, uh, is, is based on 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 uh, on the ldm uh, why why do we use the ldm concept uh, imagine you change something in your database for example the name of column uh, and if good data did not have uh, the additional ldm layer you would need to change the column name in every place every metric every report etc with with uh, ldm you only change one property of the ldm and the changes are automatically propagated throughout your analytics uh, so i think it's it's it's, a, it's really great because it's like one source of true so uh, let's move you can always uh, read more about ldm in uh, in uh, in the in the documentation uh, we will move we will put links uh, into the comments or description of the video the very last step we need to do is to run the command dbt good data deploy analytics which uh, you let me explain let, let me explain it uh, here uh, i don't have any any dashboards and good data allows you to store the world definition of analytics in a file so you can easily move analytics between different environments by environments i mean different workspaces or even organizations uh, the benefit is not only the ability to move the analytics but thanks to this concept you can also version it uh, which can definitely save you a lot of troubles in the future so i will run the command dbt good data deploy analytics and wow the whole analytics is set up within a few seconds by one command that's cool isn't it so and last thing i want to show you is the promised metric so i, I will move to the metric tab 
my trick stop and open the contribution of the top 25 users. You can see that this is quite complex matrix, which is, by the way, uh, defined in our, our Muckle language, which we used for metric definition. And you can see that we use this metric uh, count match pull requests, which was already uh, 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 which was defined in, in, in DBT. Uh, so uh, this is basically it. So thanks for watching. Uh, I would like to invite you to our trial uh, where you can try all these uh, or even different things. Uh, the link will be in the description. Thanks and see you.